you get a break and hold above VWAP, right? What do you actually consider to be the break and hold? Is there it a number of handles or? So as soon as we cross over VWAP, we are preparing and looking at it, right? We're watching on a one minute candle time frame, right? We're mm -hmm. watching to see if it's going to break and hold. The very next candle is our indication of whether or not it's going to continue that trend above VWAP, right? It should be a continuation candle. It should not be within the body of the current candle. If it bounces mm -hmm. off of VWAP, we still wait. Mm. until we get a confirmed candle above the above VWAP mm. to the upside. There you go. Or the other way too is a giant candle. Yes. Yeah, either, you know, that's the only other weird caveat because, and here's the way you need to think about it, and this is what makes it easy. If you get a big candle that blasts off up here, it's got a long way to come back below it again, right? Which tells you, which means you have from this point to this point to figure out if you want to sell it, right? But you're looking at that in the one minute? That is correct, because that's a scalp. That's right. If you're in a two minute, same thing. If the two minute, like this is a perfect example. This is not a break and hold. Do you see how mm. it actually broke? Yeah. That's not a hold. That's literally, mm. you know, the wicks will come through. It'll look like this constantly. Like this, this means nothing to anybody, right? Now, mm. when you get a candle that does this, I'm paying, this matters. <laughs> or if you get a next little body that's mm. starting to form up here, this means stay out right? It's going to come down to how are these candles forming above that VWAP area, right? These are holding, meaning they're not falling back below VWAP. Does that make sense? For everybody else, look at right here. Do you see how this touched VWAP? It could not break. And look at the giant pullback. This, for all of you, is a very easy trade, right? Easier because we know what it's going to do if it doesn't break. I mean, it did it here. It did it here. And then it did it here, right? Every time it touches one of these major resistant levels and it cannot break and hold, where is it going to go? What is the only choice? Yeah. Right? The opposite. That's right. So if you are a scalper, and this is why triple bottoms, this is why these matter. If it can't break, it's going the other way. Just like if it can't break, it's going the other way. Yes? So as a scalper, yes. you can do that over and over and over. Now look at this. This is a channel. You see this? You see these? Now you got a channel. Let me draw it. Hold on. Right in here. You see how it bounced? Now you get to use this. This level, you can use that as support. So if you're a scalper, that's your support. Now you're also paying attention here. See how it looks like sellers have more control. You're looking at here. It's telling us, hey, man, this is going the other way. You're looking at the direction, which is bearish. You see how it's all telling you a story? This is getting lower, but we also have to pay attention to this right here. But we already know if we enter a call, this is a more dangerous play for us. Yes? Yes, sir. Because everything's going against you if, if you're trying to make a call right here. Doesn't mean it's not going to be successful, but you better be damn fast on the trigger with it. Because this was the pull. This is telling you. This is saying, hey, I'm out. All of these sellers or all these buyers left. And this is stair-stepped all the way down, right? Doesn't mean somebody won't come in here and be like, yay, let's buy it all up. But what is the overall odds of this going this way versus it going this way? Do you see the difference? Greater to the downside. That's right. And this is a questionable area, by the way. I don't like to buy in the middle. This is the middle of a channel, right? That's not my home. I don't even like that. I want to be here and I want to be here. Does that make sense? So that's where the waiting yes. in the weeds are waiting in the clouds come. That's right. This is the clouds. This is the weeds, which is in my world, this is support and this is resistance is where you buy from, right? Right, right, right. But this I mean, as, as Jimmy thing. brought that up, everybody yep. references that the weeds. Yeah, okay. Yep, but that's exactly what he's talking about is we're waiting right here on support or we're waiting on resistance because right here is no man's land. Somebody right here can be funny boy and go, you know what, I'm just going to buy the or funny girl and be like, I'm going to buy this all up Whee! and it shouldn't have done that. And then it's going to get rejected really hard and come straight back because everybody was like, dude, what are you doing that for us? So, coach, when would you have bought and sold there then on, the, on those two bars? Uh, uh, two well, if I'm in a put, right, I'm still strong, but I've got to be careful in this range. So if I'm still in the put that bounced off of this, I can't have it go above these two bars, these tweezers right here, right? Yep. So above this means I'm out because this should continuation to at least the bottom of this channel. 
Does that make sense? But, but if you had had nothing in it, right, and, and you came in at this time of day and you see those two candles like that, would you have done anything there? Would you have bought no. some stuff there or not? No, uh, this, no, uh-uh. What, tell me why. What did I just say about this area? Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, don't go there. Don't go there. Oh, man, right. man. Yeah, don't be in the middle of it. Like, why, why are you in the middle of it, right? Wait. Now, me, because I'm a super scalper, I'd be in a put, but that's me forever doing what I do. And you see how it looked like a call to the rest of the universe, but this was yeah. a put, right? This comes from living in here. <laughs> but do you understand like this to me is a successful trade i could have made a couple hundred bucks off of this but for everybody else there's no sense in having this minimal you know risk to reward ratio because again being in the middle somebody can come in here and buy this right up and run over you and if you're an inexperienced trader you're just going to freak out and take a loss right so wait here or there see them that's it. If this starts to form a nice pattern, like if this starts to continually, you know, continually bounce like here and here or here and here, and it keeps doing this, well, guess what? I'm buying here, I'm selling here. I'm buying here, I'm selling, right? <laughs> call, put, call, put, call, put, right? <laughs> Both ways, the whole time until it breaks through one way or the other. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes, sir. Good, good.